Welcome to the Apostolate's Peace of Heart Forum Classic Series, where hundreds of key personalities in the church share insights and wisdom from classic spiritual literature. These experts are interviewed by the Apostolate's founder from a unique family perspective so that the spiritual insights shared can be applied to our everyday lives and give us peace of heart. Let's now join the discussion. I am Jerry Conacher. I just want to welcome you to this continuing series. We're on chapter six now of Cardinal Renzi's book on trust and divine providence. His eminence is here to guide us and he's prefect of the congregation of the divine worship and uh, discipline of the sacraments. Now, before we start this chapter, your eminence can be open with a prayer, please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, your providence spans over the whole of creation from inanimate objects to trees, animals, and the human being, and the angels. Help us, even in the midst of the dark night in our earthly pilgrimage, when everything is not clear to us, especially in the presence of suffering and evil, help us to continue to trust in you as our loving Father, who live and reign forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mary. Queen and Mother of Good Counsel, pray for pray us. For in the us. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, Your Eminence, Divine Providence and the Question of Evil and Suffering. That's quite a title. Yes. From what we have reflected upon so far, the ground is prepared for us to make a summary reflection mm -hmm. on Divine Providence and the question of evil and suffering. Yes. We begin with the undeniable question that there is suffering and there is evil. Yes. Humanity has battled with how to reconcile the truth about divine providence with the undeniable fact of evil and suffering. Mm -hmm. And when we say suffering, we don't mean only physical suffering, mm -hmm. sicknesses, earthquakes, bad harvest, accident. But we also mean suffering as a result of human mm -hmm. failure, bad will, negligence, sheer wickedness mm -hmm. on the part of some people. Yes, losing your job, like you said here. Yes, so how do we reconcile all that with a loving father? The problem is real. Mm -hmm. We should not deny that the problem exists. Right. We are not talking of those who solve it by denying the existence of God, mm -hmm. atheists. Mm -hmm. We are not going to give them a lot of time. Right. Nor are we going to say that God does not have a hand in human events. No. What we want to examine, we know that God loves us, but what we are to examine is since God loves us, and if God loves us, how do we explain mm -hmm. these realities, harsh realities? Yeah, it doesn't seem fair. <laughs> he did it to his mother and then all yes. of his apostles, too. His mother suffered yes. on Calvary. Right. How do we explain it? Yes. Christ, the innocent one, suffered. Mm -hmm. We are almost tempted like Job to say, Will no one help me to know how to travel to his dwelling? I should set out my case before him, advancing any number of grievances. Mm. Then I could learn his defense, every one of it, <laughs> said Job, yes. who was suffering so much. Yes. And he knew not why. Yes. He was actually not guilty of anything. No, he wouldn't deny God at all, no matter what happened. He did not know why he was suffering. Yes. He had many questions unanswered. Mm -hmm. The three people who came to comfort him, they, they became part of the problem. Yeah, they didn't really. <laughs> Instead of being part <laughs> of the solution. Something must be wrong with you, Job. <laughs> yes, they were wrong. All three, God yeah. asked them to make sacrifices later yeah. for all the rubbish they talked. Mm -hmm. So the first thing then we should state is suffering is not of one type. Mm -hmm. There are many types of evil or suffering. There is the suffering or evil, which is physical level. Yes. For instance, natural disaster, hurricane, earthquake, heat, mm -hmm. cold, which can kill when they are intense. Mm -hmm. 
drought, when there's no rain at all, yeah. or when there's too much rain, all that can mean evil, even leading to death. And human beings are not responsible generally for such. Also, there are many sicknesses for which people are not responsible. Mm -hmm. And they are not guilty. And also, physical evil can be caused because of human ignorance. Yes. Or lack of prudence. Or negligence. Or carelessness. If a, a driver is careless, he knocks down a scientist mm -hmm. and kills him. That can happen. Or lack of self-control. You can see now that the, the degree of human responsibility is changing. Yes, more too. For instance, think of a child who drinks poison carelessly left around by adults. Mm -hmm. The child saw it, the color was attractive, the child drank. Yes. Now, you, the adults who left it carelessly, mm -hmm. but not maliciously, right. but they have some guilt. You see? Think of a person who contracts a disease and falls sick and dies because he used to eat too much, mm -hmm. or drink too much, or smoke too much, so often or smoke. all three. Yeah. <laughs> it can happen. That's Only right. the doctors will analyze that, mm -hmm. not I. There is another grade of evil which we call in theology moral evil. Mm -hmm. That means sin. Yes. It is an exercise of human will against the law of God. It is always an evil of a spiritual nature. For example, idolatry, mm -hmm. those who are creatures, blasphemy, mm -hmm. those who speak evil of God or the saints, hatred of parents, that's not a good act. Right. Ingratitude, that can be very painful. Mm -hmm. False accusation, that can land a person in prison. Right. Murder, terrorism, such as those of September 11, adultery, fornication, theft, lies, oppression of the poor, repression of people because they are weak, they have nobody to defend them. Mm -hmm. These are sins. Right. They cause a lot of suffering. Suffering is engendered by ma in man by the experience of these multiple forms of evil. I'm suffering, too, because the sins of omission are just as bad as sins of commission. They can be. Because we should do certain things to prevent things from happening. They it's can our be. responsibility, and somehow we say, well, I didn't do anything. Well, that's yeah. the problem. You didn't do anything. Yeah. And we should have. So. If you are parents, you didn't do anything to protect your children. Right. If you are in the public authority, mm -hmm. civil authority, government, yeah. there are certain things you didn't do, and because of that, people suffer. Right. Even some people die. Yes. That can happen. Mm -hmm. Suffering is painful generally. Mm -hmm. It generally uh, generates pain. Mm -hmm. Especially when there is no guilt, man is almost impelled to ask those difficult and tormenting questions, sometimes dramatic questions, which we have mentioned above. Mm -hmm. Sometimes man complains. Sometimes he challenges. At other times, he just cries. Yeah. He just laments. He just wants to know why, how is that mm -hmm. to be reconciled with a caring God? Yes. So some of the answers we can give. The scripture, as we read already, helps us to find some of the answers. Against wisdom, evil cannot prevail. Strongly, she reaches from one end of the world to the other governs the whole world for its good. So scripture tells us that all things will be well at the end. Mm -hmm. That's one comfort. Also, that God did not make death, and he takes no pleasure in destroying what he has made. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the things we suffer are our own fault, mm -hmm. but not all of them, as we mentioned already. Then, God's final purpose will be found in the cross and the resurrection. That's right. which brings salvation, contrary to appearances that Christ was defeated on Good Friday. Yeah. Just wait until two days after. Yeah. That was uh, mind-boggling because the, it looked like he was a total failure, absolute failure in his, in his whole life. 
And at that very moment is when he crushed the head of Satan. Exactly. And uh, opened up the gates of heaven. Then, physical evil and the order of the cosmos, the world, mm -hmm. we should also not forget that aspect. Right. We are not the directors of the world. God has made material things, and there is a type of interdependence between them. For example, one animal eats another animal mm -hmm. in order to be alive. Yeah, that's the chain, the food chain. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> As for death, we don't like to die. But now, suppose nobody died, no man died, no dog died, no goat died. Every one of us lived on and on and on, 100 years, 200 years, 300 years. Now it get crowded. Would you <laughs> like to be the director of the world then? You see, God has his purposes. Yeah. Suppose no tree ever fell, no tree ever got old, mm -hmm. no house ever began to leak. So you see, God has a purpose beyond what we may immediately understand. That's right. That's right. Then, what of moral evil and sin? Do you want God to remove our freedom which he gave us so that we are no longer able to commit sin? Mm -hmm. And that by the same breath, we will no longer be able to do his will freely? So we will no longer be able to go to heaven freely. Yeah. We will now be pulled into heaven by force. Mm -hmm. Is that what you prefer to be a better world order? Mm. You see, work that God's way. providence is really above all. Mm -hmm. But we don't blame God for sin. As the book of Sirach says, page 52, Do not say the Lord was responsible for my sinning. He himself made human beings in the beginning and then left them free to make their own decisions. If you choose, you will keep the commandments and so be faithful to his will. Mm. A human being has life and death before him. Whichever he prefers will be given him. You love me, keep my commandments, our Lord tells us. Yes. And, uh, that's the first But thing. evil will not have the last word. Mm -hmm. Although God permits sin... He can draw good out of it. Yes. Thus, Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus. The Jewish leaders accused Jesus falsely, and Pilate unjustly condemned Christ to be crucified. All those were bad acts. Right. But from all that and suffering of the cross, God gives us reconciliation, mm -hmm. salvation, and new life. And you actually draw closer to him and before the sin, yes. if we're really repentant. Yes. So that's the good that he draws from, from all of that. As for physical evil, many saints have suffered much in life. People who have suffered much often become great saints. Mm -hmm. God can send suffering to the just man to prove his love and fidelity, as in the case of Job. Also, Tobit, who became blind and poor, although innocent, and yet he did not revolt against God's will. He proved his love for God. Right. And God extolled and rewarded him at the end. God never sends any suffering which is beyond our strength. When suffering knocks at our door, we need patience and resignation. After we have taken the ordinary means, to remove the suffering. If we are sick, we mm -hmm. see a doctor. Right. But when we have seen all the doctors, if the sickness persists, we should be able to pray, Lord, let your will be done, not mine. That's what happened to Gwen. That's like our Lord, like St. Teresa of Lisieux, mm -hmm. so the great saints. Yes. So you have experience also, you are the case of your own marriage partner. Yes. Physical evil can be a punishment for actual sin and a disciplinary medicine. Some people who have committed sin and got sick, they know, or just got locked up in prison. Yes. I do not say that all the people in prison are guilty, mm -hmm. but some are, mm -hmm. and they know it. Mm -hmm. It can become a medicine if the person will take it well. God can send the physical evil to sinners to bring them into the right way and so to warn them mm -hmm. before it is too late. We are told that St. Francis of Assisi, he suffered a bit and then became a saint. St. Yes. Ignatius Loyola, he had an injury during a war mm -hmm. 
Mm. And then during the convalescence, he read many books and it became his great moment. Nice. So God can use those things. Christian asceticism and theology teach us that by bearing physical suffering patiently, the temporal punishment due to our sins can be diminished or even canceled altogether. So that when we are sick before we die, we take it well, it can wipe out our purgatory. Yes, you can get a funner indulgence with the blessing of the sick. Yes. I mean, that's an incredible gift from the church. Another puzzle. Why do good people suffer and wicked people seem to prosper? Yeah, that's very discouraging when you see that. <laughs> you, you, know. you see? Yeah. We can't deny that, but let us take it easy. Mm -hmm. No sinner has true happiness. Those big sinners who seem to be having a big time, mm. all is not well with them. Mm -hmm. They are afraid. Every knock at the door, they think it is those who will catch them out. Yes. They are not at peace. Their conscience does not give them that inner peace. No rest for the wicked, says the Lord. Very Riches, well. honor, and pleasures. They never gave enduring peace to anyone from the days of Solomon. Our hearts are made for God, and they will never be at rest until they rest in God, St. Augustine found out mm -hmm. after blundering in his youth. It's something. He learned the hard way. Yes that our joy is only in God. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, no lover of God has real misery mm -hmm. because the saints possess inner peace and a good conscience. I the saints go through life singing with joy. I think that's so important. The people that are close to God have a joy yes. and a sense of humor. They go through life singing with joy. They are actually free. Yeah. It is the sinners that are prisoners. I mean, Gwen even had a sense of humor right to the point of her death. It's yes. amazing. They, they have a joy about it. And that. so St. Thomas More, when mm -hmm. they were going to behead him, mm -hmm. he said to the jailer, now, look, my hair is not actually guilty. Why are you cutting part of the hair off? <laughs> so he had that sense. <laughs> the, the sinners are the real prisoners. Yes. They are prisoners of their unmortified instincts. Mm -hmm. They are prisoners of their uncontrolled passions. Mm -hmm. They made the prison in which they are, yeah. and the key is in their pocket. Mm -hmm. They can come out when they wish. Right. The saints go through life liberated. Mm -hmm. St. Paul speaks of the liberty of the children of God. Yes. So we must not exaggerate that the bad people enjoy life. Mm -hmm. They only appear to enjoy. No amount of noise making on their part and feasting and banqueting so will cloud this fact. It's also very disheartening, too, with wealthy families. Sometimes the children are waiting for them to die so they can have their estate. You know? Of course. And that's uh, what a terrible feeling. All kinds of crimes are committed for the yes. sake of money, Yes. including crimes inside the family. Mm -hmm. Terrible things. Have them committed because they're not mentally stable, so they do that, so they can have their estates. Terrible. Moreover, we can say that sinners may be rewarded on earth for the little good they have done down here, mm -hmm. but their good fortune is short-lived. Yes. The just may suffer on earth for whatever little faults they have committed, mm -hmm. but none of it is entire, none of us is entirely faultless. We mm -hmm. are not like Jesus and Mary, who mm -hmm. are without any speck mm -hmm. of fault right. so that none of us has a right in the final analysis See. to argue that we should never suffer anything. Right. That would be too much exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. finally, 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 the cross and the resurrection yes. are the final answer. When we have said everything mm -hmm. and explained it as much as we can, we come to Calvary. Yeah. And we ask ourselves, who is on that cross? Right. And who is the one standing at the foot of the cross? Mm -hmm. And then words will fail us. Yeah. We better stop talking mm -hmm. and begin meditating. Yeah. We better kneel down in prayer. We better confess before God's almighty providence that from the tree of the cross comes life. From the suffering of Christ comes the resurrection. God will raise him up on the last day. So Pope John Paul II says in the general audience of 1986, June 16, mm -hmm. the Pope says, A definitive answer 
cannot be given to the question about the reconciliation of evil and suffering with the truth of divine providence without reference to Christ. Christ and the cross explain the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then words must cease. Yes. And prayer, meditation and prayer must begin. So when all is said and done, we should, with the Second Vatican Council, say, through Christ and in Christ, the riddles of sorrow and death grow mm -hmm. meaningful. Mm -hmm. Apart from his gospel, they overwhelm us. Yeah, right. Well, this is the, the cross is the contradiction of the cross. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, this is our this is our life. So the, the explanation of trust and. So the Lord is my shepherd; I shall lack nothing. Even were I to walk in a ravine as dark as death. Mm -hmm. I should fear no danger, for you are at my side. Yes. And St. Paul puts it this way, how rich and deep are the wisdom and the knowledge of God. We cannot reach to the root of his decisions mm -hmm. or his ways. Yeah. yeah, I just, uh, you know, these words just bring me back to Gwen's death. She just said, I, I'll look down and help protect you from the unknown place I'm going. I can, I trust in Jesus and Mary and they'll be there and uh, for me. You know, right, right before she's dying, she's saying these things and it's just her simple childlike trust. And this is where Teresa Little Flower uh, and these great saints have, have um, walked the walk with our Lord. This responsibility of the present moment, every moment has, has, contains God's will. And we have to be sensitive to Remember that we're in his presence. He can see us every moment. If he forgets about us, we won't exist. And uh, we just have to be aware, Lord, what is your will right now? And that's the most perfect thing we can do. And if we pause and just ask God sincerely, we'll know what to do. The responsibility will be obvious to us, and we'll do, and we'll be united with God. So call us today at the number on the screen. Get involved in uh, the work and mission of the apostle to spread this mercy of God, uh, and ask about Carl Lorenzi's book, Trust in Divine Providence, and these tapes. Thank you, and God bless you.